Perhaps you've seen this video online. It shows a pair of ultra-realistic animatronic eyes looking around and blinking. The eyes were designed by special effects builder Dan Thompson. To find out exactly how he made these robot eyes so creepily realistic, we called him up. It's essentially just a series of small motors that are being controlled and they're moving some tiny uh, precision machined aluminum parts and those are pretty much creating the movement of the eye as far as up and down and in uh, the blinking. It's all, they're actually servo motors which are, they're in the similar field as what you would use to, you know, fly a remote control plane or a remote control boat. In some of my earlier prototypes, the blinks were too slow and it was a dead giveaway um, that it was something fake because it wasn't moving at the speed that a normal uh, human blink was. So I did spend a little bit of time uh, kind of researching and watching what, you know, trying to mimic exactly what I was seeing. And it's a, it's a long process of basically, you know, casting the eye form and then all of the detail is hand painted, all of the like subtle layers of color, I mean, that you find in a human eye. It's, it's something that's very, very complicated to try to, you know, to copy, because if you look at a human eye, there's so many colors in there and so much depth. And they also incorporate a corneal bulge, which is that, that little bump at the front of a human eye. Because you know, a human eye is not a perfect sphere, like most people think. There's actually a little bump on the front of them. But it's not just the blinking and the movement of the eyes that makes them so realistic. In a human, when a human looks up or down, the eyelids actually do track where the eye is looking ever so slightly, which is one thing that I incorporated into mine that gives it that extra realistic thing that if it wasn't there, you would immediately notice it, but you don't even really notice it when it is there because it's something you see every day and you kind of take for granted. The eye kits range from 850 bucks to just over a grand, and while the majority of his customers are using them for special effects puppets and creatures, the more I refine them, they're kind of going towards uh, more robotics, like humanoid robots. I've actually had some interest in some medical training simulation mannequins, basically any application where you need an expressive, realistic set of eyes, pretty much. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Ribas, and that's Animatronic Robot Eyes Explained. I'm watching you.